Topeka's Colmery O'Neill VA Medical Center will reopen the next week. Two members of the Kansas congressional delegation, Congresswoman Len Jenkins and Senator Jerry Moran, visited the capital city yesterday to make sure that the reopening remains on the fast track. The ER closed in January of 2014 due to a lack of staffing. Jenkins and Moran toured the VA to see the improvements made since that time. They say they received a letter on May the 20th, dated April the 27th, from the director of the VA Heartland Network, William Patterson. Patterson wrote the temporary closing of the ER was expected to be lifted by the end of May. However, one more authorization document from the Veterans Affairs Office in Washington, D.C. will give the final okay. Our mission, uh, Lynn and I have the goal of making certain that the, there's no unnecessary delays uh, in that piece of paper arriving here so that the emergency room can be open. The concerns that we had in our office as far as folks having troubles getting appointments, those calls have subsided for the most part. The veterans we hear from uh, are most pleased with the work uh, here in Topeka. We to ensure the ER does not close again in the future, Senator Moran said a sixth physician was hired, giving them a full medical staff. Moran also discussed potential cuts for Fort Riley personnel. The Army should announce its decision on that in June. His comments are online at WIBW.com.